Today, I'm going to talk to you about the four transformations, translations, reflections, rotations, and dilations, and I'm going to use my friend Betty Jo to help me. Now, what is a transformation? Well, a transformation is just a change, and I'm going to take a shape, and I'm going to change it by moving it, making it bigger, making it smaller, rotating it, and reflecting it. The first one I'm going to talk about is called a translation. Now, I don't mean something from English to Spanish or German to French. A translation, when we're talking about math and shapes, is just moving something. Moving it to the right or to the left or up or down. Moving it around. I'm not rotating it. I'm not reflecting it. As you can see, Betty Jo is still looking off to the right. That is a translation. A reflection is a flip of a shape over a line. Now, usually we have a line here and we flip it over to this direction. But right now, for the sake of Betty Jo, I'm going to do it slightly differently. Her line of reflection is going to basically go straight down the middle as she just flips around that line. Well, let me show you without the line. The easiest will be to check her eyes and watch her eyes as I flip her. So we're going to go that way. Oh, see? How that goes? Now flip her back. All right, so she was a reflection of herself. I can do her upside down. I did the whole page upside down. That's hilarious. Right side up. <laughs> it wasn't just Betty Jo. But one of the other things I can do is make Betty Jo look at herself in the mirror at her reflection. Hey, Betty Jo. Hi, Betty Jo. I bet when you think of reflection, this is what you think of looking in a mirror. All right, let's go to the next one. Rotation is a turn of a shape around a point. So watch this. Ooh, rotation. Kind of like a bike tire, right? And it can go clockwise. It can also go counterclockwise. And when you get into rotations, we'll start talking about rotating 90 degrees, 180, 270, and 360. All right, one more to go. Dilation is taking a shape and making it larger or smaller. So let's get smaller first. Little tiny Betty Jo, and then really big Betty Jo. And so that's all it is, is making a shape larger or smaller. You might know about dilation if you ever get your eyes checked and they put those little drops in and they make your the pupil of your eyes get bigger. That's dilation. Now, I want to show you a short little animation. It is nothing great at all. I made it, and I'm not a very good artist, but Betty Jo is my main character. And when you watch this animation, I want you to see if you can identify the translation, rotation, reflection, and dilation. All right, let's go and watch. <laughs> 